Ciao guys, Natural Kenya here, and if you're new to my channel, I am Kenya, yes, like the country, and I'm an American living in Italy, documenting my experiences abroad, and today I'm going to take you on a trip to a pizza place in the middle of nowhere, a place that Italians say does not exist, and that is Molise. So this weekend, I'm actually in Molise, the place that many Italians joke literally does not exist because I think it is the youngest region in Italy. Yes, the youngest region in Italy. And it used to be a part of Abruzzo. And they broke apart and I don't even know what year, but I'll put it here. If people make a joke like it doesn't exist because nobody ever goes here. Well, guess what? It is my second home. And today and tonight, it's not today anymore. <laughs> it's literally, okay, it's 8.34. Today I'm going to take you on a trip to a pizzeria in Ururi. So Ururi is actually a town in Molise with an Albanian community. And uh, today we're gonna get a pizza, so why not? I have an appetite for pizza tonight. I put on a bit of rosetta. I'm gonna take you guys along with me on this night out in Molise in the middle of nowhere to let you know how I live when I'm outside of Rome. So I put on my one shoulder dress. Yes, this one's kind of long. <laughs> I did my hair, I fluffed it up. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, we're ready to go. We're ready to go. So let's go eat this pizza and have a nice time tonight. I mean, it's Friday night, let's drink some wine, let's eat some pizza. What do we do when we're in Italy? Only drink wine, eat pizza and pasta, duh, who works out? The problem in Italy is that a lot of the time, you always need cash, which we don't have. So we're going to stop at the Pizza Italiane, Bancomat, and get a few dollars. <laughs> Not dollars, euros, but you guys know what I mean. They're always reliable for the cash. We just arrived and there are a lot of people here. So we had to park in the extras parking. Uh, I'm not an extra. <laughs> we just arrived and we are going to get a margarita, come your pilates, and a burrata with your pilates. Oh, so no bufala today. Huh. Why are you making a decision without me? And of course, we have to get patatine frite, aka french fries, just a plate, not a vasoya, which is like the bigger thing. Surprisingly, there are a lot of people around right now. I did not expect a full house. I'm waiting for my pork vidino. Oh. So we have ketchup to dip everything in, <laughs> which is helpful. But there are no fries yet. Where are the fries? So the wine just arrived, and of course, I accidentally put the water in the wine glass, so I need to finish this water before refilling it with the new wine that just came. Um, this happens to me pretty frequently because sometimes you go to these traditional pizzerias, trattoria places, and you don't know which glass is for what. <laughs> Hilarious. We 
just finished eating this pizza and it was absolutely delicious. We're gonna call it a night because I am exhausted, I'm so tired, and I'm messing up my heels walking in these rocks <laughs> and dirt. And you can't see me because it's so dark outside. But anyway, see you guys soon. Hi guys, so it is the following day and I am headed to Termoli, which is probably the main beach town, I guess you can say, in Molise, uh, just for the day. The weather isn't looking that great, uh, so fingers crossed it doesn't rain. We're at Esso, which is I guess the Italian version or European version of Exxon, uh, filling up the car now so we can actually get back to Rome as well tomorrow. By the way, if we want to talk about gas prices in Italy, this is like almost $6 a gallon last time I checked, but I'm going to do the conversion for you guys. <laughs> the thing is, these taxes on petroleum, I guess you can say, in Europe, not only Europe, but in Italy, they're absolutely absurd. This watermelon inflatable, that is so cute. Oh my God, I want this. Is this for kids? <laughs> So guys, I just arrived in Termoli and we are going to do a bit of walking around and I am hungry so we need to find another place to eat for seafood. Of course, what do you do whenever you come to a beach town? <laughs> currently in the main piazza of Turtimony with another 3,000 people. Uh, definitely more people than I expected on a Saturday, but I guess I shouldn't be surprised. It's almost August. So. approaching the port if you can see this this is the ferry in the distance that takes you to Isole Tremiti and a lot of private fishing boats as well but the town is so cute it's one of my favorite places in Molise so guys we just arrived at one of the places we come pretty often but not since the whole quarantine corona time and it is very key. It overlooks the port which is behind me. You guys can see. And basically it's like a seafood delight here. We're gonna get pocketty with lobster. Wait it's a lobster right? Okay. Because I see Jay remember we looked and there was one with the hands and one without the hands. Does this one have the hands? <laughs> I don't remember. We ordered some falangina. We have raw tuna coming, tuna and uh, scampi. We're actually one of the first people in this place because I couldn't wait to eat. I was hungry. I need to eat. I just need them to open this umbrella because I'm sitting in the sun and I don't like to bake in the sun. Besides that, everything is good in the neighborhood. This is the pasta with lobster, how delicious, with an extra scampa on the side. You see him? There he is. <laughs> with his beady eyes, I hate that. So 
so after a delicious two and a half hour lunch, I actually headed back to take a nap. And that's my Saturday routine for you guys <laughs> when I'm in the countryside. If you haven't already, like this video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Ciao.